Hey guys, so this week's training got all flip-flopped and I ended up doing my glute focus session at the end of the week instead. I filmed most of the workout and figured I would share with you what I did. So let's just jump right on in. First up is barbell hip thrust and I did 12, 10, 8, 6 for my working sets first and made sure to hit full ROM with these. So that means bringing the weight all the way to the ground each rep. Now I only managed to film three of these sets. I think I did the 10, 8, and 6, but you guys get the point. And so as those reps decrease each set, you are adding more weight to the bar. So as the reps decrease, the load increases. So you just saw I rested one minute and dropped the weight and did two sets of 20 constant tension reps. So with constant tension, we aren't bringing the weight all the way to the ground, but instead we're just going down until we feel our glutes lose tension and then come right back up. So we're focusing the reps on the highest tension portion of the thrust, which is the top portion. Now with a drop like this, I personally like to pump out the reps to keep the tension while ensuring I hit those 20 reps because I am already fatigued fatigued from those heavier sets I just did. And if you perform this drop set right here or drop sets like this, then you'll understand what I'm talking about when the load feels much lighter than what you just previously worked with, but then it quickly catches up with you and you know you gotta hit those 20 reps. So as long as your form is there, you have control over the weight, pump out those 20 reps and get it done. Next, I wanted to do something wide stride or wide stance. And since I had already done a ton of split squats this week, I opted for heavy dumbbell sumo squats. So I did four sets of 12, 10, 8, 8. Now I had originally programmed just three sets, but I felt like I could have went heavier. I was kind of off with my weight choosing in the beginning. So I added in a fourth set to finish it off. So if you pick your weights appropriately the first time, you could just do the one set of eight instead of two at the end. And I also held the dumbbell at a slant, as you can see, so I didn't have to stand on anything to give me more ROM. And I also made sure to stand as wide as I possibly could for my mobility to also cut down my needed ROM. But if you're shorter or you're using larger weights and you need that extra ROM to put yourself in a deficit so that you don't cut your reps short, then stand on something so you can elevate yourself and make sure to get full range of motion for your body. Next up was donkey kicks on the cable machine. I hadn't done these in a while and I really like this exercise. So I decided I would use these as my kickback variation for the workout. So I did three sets of 15 reps on each leg. Now with these, you really are focusing on that top range where the glute is fully contracted. So make sure to really squeeze and feel your glute working. I like to have my upper body down at a slant. So I'm on my elbows so I can avoid any lower back contact and another key tip is to have your leg in position and then lock it there you shouldn't have any knee movement throughout the rep you'll know if you aren't staying stable with your knee because you will feel your hamstring working because then you would be doing a hamstring curl as well so this is why i also like to really just focus on that top range and i only go down until i feel that tension release off my glute and then i just bring it right back up Lastly was seated hip abductions. Now I have really been loving standing cable abductions lately, but I did wanna be able to go heavier with these today to finish off the workout. So I did the seated variation with three sets of 12 reps. And I do prefer a lean forward with these because I feel my glutes work best this way. And you are typically stronger in this position as well. But that was the entire workout I did to finish off my glute training for the week. And not gonna lie, it always feels a little weird to be doing your workouts out of order from what you're typically used to. I mean, it's nice and refreshing, but it definitely makes you eager to get back to your regular scheduled programming. <laughs> but that was this glute session from this week. So I'm gonna go take a nice, well-deserved rest day tomorrow. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.
be feeling the same as the 